Hello everyone, welcome to our channel. Today we are going to have a brief intro of what are web resources in Dynamics 365 and uh, then we are going to see uh, use of a web resource called as JavaScript. So first of all, we are going to see what are the web resources. For that, we will go to a solution, open a solution. If you click here in a new but, uh, new drop down and go on the more, as you can see, there are the web resource available here. If you click here, then the side pan, if you file type, select here, as you can see, these are the web resource types. So as you can see, first is JavaScript and now we are later on this video, I'm going to show you what are the JavaScript web resource and how to use it and uh, configure our web solution according to our used case scenario. And then there is a web page HTML. So web page HTML is to, you know, whenever we want to create an extra page to show up some related records and all. So this, uh, then this kind of uh, web resource would help and then come to uh, style sheet. So as you, we know that in the HTML part, we use a CSS also. And then there is a XML uh, uh, images, as you can see images such as PNG, JPG, these are also used as a web resources. Then there is XML. So XML you often use for the data configuration and there is a XSL. So XSL is for the transforming the XML data. It is used for the transforming the XML data so uh, now we are going to uh, see a use case scenario for that we go to our application sales hub so in the sales hub we have entity called uh, employee entity here we have a uh, address information section for the employee and uh, just as we can see that if uh, in our scenario when a user comes here and he needs to you know put uh, some postal code so these are the postal codes and this is also an entity lookup for postal code if i open it as we can see uh, if i open it as you can see that this postal belongs to india country city is bangalore and region is north and uh, same goes for if you check another postal code just like this so it is also have some other just like country saudi arabia city is riyadh and region is middle east so what we need here if a user comes here uh, put some na uh, name here so what we need here, if a user comes and give it a name of uh, some employee name, position also, and a DOB also, and then in this address info, what we need, if we just like uh, click on the city, something just like Bangalore, and the region should be Middle East, he could make a mistake. So what we need, he needs all we need all these fields should be locked, and whenever he enter any postal codes so according to this postal code these three fields because these three fields also are in the postal code entity that we have, i've showed you before uh, so what we need just whenever a user uh, select any of this postal code all these fields should also auto populated because of our uh, according to our postal code so for that we would need a web resource and it's web resource called javascript Before writing JavaScript, what we need, we need to stop a user to, you know, uh, fill any value in the city, region and country field. So for that, we will go to this uh, solution of our again and open that uh, employee table. If you open that table and go to the our form, what we can do, we can uh, uh, just lock this field or make it make them read only. So that the first thing that we will do. So we need to uh, lock this field or make it read only field. So that's what we am go I'm going to do. And uh, then uh, from our JavaScript, what we need, we would need that our whenever some user select any postal code, so this field also be populated according to this. So now it's published, go back to our uh, entity and refresh it. So now as you can see that user cannot fill these values. And now I'm going to show you that we would write a JavaScript for this. So this is the JavaScript code. And here in this code, as you can see that I'm checking that if the postal code is nil, then uh, all these v uh, values should be nil. So these are the values. These are the fields name of the city, region, country in which are in the employee form. And then here I'm just using XRM API retrieve record and retrieving postal code entity. And from that entity, I'm getting city value region value and country value also and then uh, here as you can see if you go further down we can see that uh, all the value that i'm setting it here uh, one by one if and else cases 
and that's it from this and now I'm going to save this file so we would save as this JavaScript and click on save once it's saved we will go back to our solution here and in this solution we would add our uh, JavaScript web resource and then we need to click on new and go to more and web resource here we would give it a name and add our JavaScript file which we have saved set three value yeah to choose file open it here give it a name and then uh, same name here also and then uh, advanced option click uh, English select English and then click on save now it's been saved and if you open it we could see and this we would need when we apply it on a form so uh, copy it all and then go back to our form we need an employee entity open that entity form and here we need to add our javascript or uh, work on when the postal code has been set or changed so click here and then go to events add library so this is the javascript that we have just write down click on add and now click on event handler function that i have told you that i have copied it before and i could show it here also this is the function on postal code chain so this is we are using it I click and uh, pass execution context as first parameter click on done and now click on save and publish once it publish we will go to our form and do a hard refresh and check whether our javascript working fine or not and this is how we uh, utilize the javascript web resource in our form so here I, we have come uh, now we are doing a hard refresh one more time and then we will check now if I select this now as you can see as soon as I selected uh, select this uh, postal code these values have uh, auto populated if I remove it as you can see these uh, values are removed and if I'm selecting this so these values are populated so this is from uh, this is happening because of our JavaScript type of every source and that's it from our video thank you like and subscribe